I have a good one for you today, sweeties. That's right. Salmon in the oven baked using mayo as the secret ingredient, the key to keeping that salmon so moist. Subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell. And now let's get into this juicy, delicious, moist salmon recipe. This is a beautiful plump piece of salmon. And I use salmon with the skin on. I just really prefer a nice crispy skin. Run your fingers kind of down it so you can check to see if there are any small bones. And I don't feel any here, so we can proceed. Now, I like to use mayonnaise to um, hold the seasoning on the salmon. You know, mayonnaise is an emulsion, and when you mix it with other flavors, it sort of stays together. And then when you brush it onto your salmon, it holds those flavors in place. Like if you just pour a sauce on, that sauce runs off your salmon and onto your pan and it doesn't stick to the salmon, but that mayonnaise helps it stick. So first we're gonna season our salmon fillets and I've got my seasoned salt blend. I will put a link to that recipe for my seasoned salt blend in the description and also up there in the corner if you wanna click on that and get my recipe, but you can also use a store-bought store -bought seasoned salt if you like. And season both sides, especially the skin side, because we're not going to put mayonnaise on the skin side. We're just going to put mayonnaise on the meat side, the flesh side. So turn that salmon over and sprinkle it with a little seasoned salt. Or you can use just like some salt and pepper or some garlic powder, something like that. Maybe some lemon pepper if you like. But make sure you season the salmon itself so you can get layers of flavor. We'll set our salmon to the side for a minute and get our mayonnaise. And I will put the complete recipe in the description box as well. But you get your mayonnaise, some fresh garlic, a little bit of lemon, and that seasoning salt. And I'm going to use this garlic zoom. Um, I bought this a while ago. And while it is not necessary, you could just chop your garlic with a knife. I really do enjoy this little tool. You put it in, and it's got little blades in there. And you run it back and forth across the counter. And it chops up your garlic and it gets it, you know, the more you chop it up, the more you roll it back and forth, the finer it'll get. So you put that garlic, fresh garlic in there, put the seasoning salt and a squeeze of fresh lemon juice. And I just squeeze it through my fingers to catch the seeds and mix it up. And you can put, you know, a little more seasoning salt if you want just, you know, a little more flavor, a little more salty, a little more color, or you can add more paprika, less whatever you like to this mix. So stir that up really good and then get your salmon fillets and put a dollop of the mayo or seasoned mayo, kind of like an aioli, I guess, onto your salmon fillets. And you don't need that much. You just want maybe, oh, about a two teaspoons of that mayo mixture and brush it all on the top and the sides of your salmon. You just want a nice, fairly thin coating. You don't need a whole bunch of mayo for this. Um, this makes about enough for six servings. So I have a little leftover. You can even put any leftovers, use it as like a salad dressing. Um, it's really, really tasty. Or use it in like tuna salad if you're making it, but you just want to brush a layer across your salmon fillets and make sure it's nice and evenly coated. Make sure that flavor is spread all around. Now this is a version I did with a little more seasoning salt, a little more paprika because I wanted more robust color. I added some parsley flakes in there. Spritz a little bit of oil into a pan. You want a pan that can go on top of the stovetop, into the oven, under the boiler, all of that. And we want to preheat your pan so you can get that nice sizzle. And you can, you know, you preheat your oven to 425 degrees. You can heat your pan up in the oven for a minute or two. Or you can heat it on the stovetop. Get those salmon fillets in the pan. 
and then into the oven for about five minutes. And then we want to broil our salmon for just a minute or two to get that pretty color. Oh my, that looks delicious. I mean, it's just that simple. And what do you serve with it? Well, I like some steamed bok choy. I just steamed some bok choy in the microwave for like three minutes and dress it with a little bit of um, chili oil, some soy sauce, a little sesame oil, and a little bit of honey. Man, this is delicious. And you serve that with your salmon fillets and that is a super, super easy dinner. Look at the beautiful color of this plump salmon. And I love that finish you get when you put it under the broiler. It, mm, wow, chef's kiss to me, it's absolutely perfect. And look, perfectly cooked salmon. If you want your salmon more well done, cook it for a little bit longer. That's on you, you do, you boo. However you like to eat your salmon is how you cook your salmon. But this is how I like it. Look, it's so moist. And you can see all of the seasoning we put on that salmon stayed in place, did not run off onto the pan or anything like that. Another serving suggestion, this one, it's, I always keep one of these bags of like a kale salad. And this has the little pepitas, you know, the pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and some cranberries. And it comes with a little poppy seed, like sweet dressing. Mix that up. You're not even doing any more cooking when you do that. Toss a little of that salad together and serve it with your salmon. Put a little avocado on there. Another like slice of fresh lemon if you wanna squeeze that on. And dinner is served and it's so easy. It's so, so, so easy. So I highly recommend you give this recipe a try. And tell me what would you add? Would you add some hot sauce to it? Just, you know, some mango would be great in the salad. What would you add to this? Let me know in the comments. Yes, moist salmon in the oven, broiled. We started with a hot pan so our salmon skin could get nice and brown and crispy. Mmm. Just so flavorful with the garlic, all that fresh lemon juice. I like it real lemony, <laughs> a little more lemon for me. And it's super, super simple and fast. And me personally, I love a bag salad. I mean, you get your dinner on the table like that. Salmon cooks quickly, no more than seven minutes in the oven. Make sure your oven is nice and hot. Get your pan hot before you put your salmon in. Crisp, crisp up the skin, pop it into the oven for about five minutes and then a minute or two underneath the broiler to get that char. You don't wanna leave it in too long because you don't want to overcook your salmon. So please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell and y'all have a delicious day.